So here is a video of something that's not really, I wouldn't call this enrichment for kaiju. Um, it's really just dinner. It is gel molds uh, that I made. It's Rapashi, it's a mix of a couple of different Rapashi products. It's uh, chicken pot pie and veggie, yeah, chicken pot pie and veggie burger, two things that she's pretty fond of. These are omnivore gel blends. And I say it's not really enrichment for her because it's not really adding anything new to the environment. This is a food she's pretty familiar with, um, but it's extremely enriching for me um, because today I have made her dinner. I'll show you one she hasn't fully destroyed yet. I have these skyscraper, well, they're actually Big Ben, I guess, but they're tall building ice molds. And that's what I mixed up her Rapashi in. And um, as most of you probably know, Kaiju is a Japanese term um, meaning strange creature. You might not know that part, but you're familiar with Kaiju Ega, Kaiju Cinema from things like Godzilla and Pacific Rim and King Kong and really any big monster in a suit type of movie. And she's named after that. I originally wanted to name her after the film technique of dressing up a lizard and putting it on a model scale set and pretending that it's some sort of dinosaur or otherworldly monster. Um, kind of a famous example of this is the giant Gila monster in the film, the giant Gila monster, only it's not a Gila monster in that movie. They actually used a Mexican beaded lizard. I don't know why. Um, there's other movies that this is really famous. Uh, they actually use tegus in a few of them. I think it's 10,000 BC or 1 million years BC, some big number BC. There's uh, several tegus that they dress up as dinosaurs. And anyways, I wanted to name her after that film technique because I like old movies, but unfortunately that particular film technique doesn't really have a name uh, that you can call an animal. Those animals were referred to as slurposaurs because of the noises their tongues made, I guess. Um, but I love this animal, and so I wasn't going to name her Slurpee. And even though kaiju movies usually have uh, suited actors or... Um, nowadays they'll use CGI, but kaiju movies tra traditionally do use suited actors, not lizards dressed up. I, uh, I watch a lot of, lot of old monster flicks. And so she's named after that, um, in case you've ever, you've ever wondered, I know, I told you, yes? Yes, what do you want? No, your, your dinner's on the floor. What do you want? She says, I want to make a movie. Let me be in your film. You're, you're already the star of this movie, Kaiju. You're already the star. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just Rapashi uh, gel food. It's a great way to get a few things into your uh, animal's diet. If you have a lizard that doesn't like eating their greens, um, Rapashi Veggie Burger is a great product and you can make it with, uh, usually you just make it with water, but if you have an animal that doesn't even wanna eat that, you can try making it with some um, no sodium or super low sodium chicken broth if you want. Um, that can kind of make it smell a little bit more enticing. You can add other Rapashi products to it. Sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of like cherry bomb for color. Uh, cherry bomb is a powdered kind of crested gecko gel diet and she likes it as is. I use it as, <laughs> I use it as um, bait for some of her, her toys. Some of her, <laughs> God, I got you. <laughs> oh, you're a mess. Um, but yeah, she likes the taste of it and she likes the veggie burger, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good product. It also has a pretty high water content. So if you're worried about making sure that your lizard's getting enough to enough moisture. Um, oh, sweetie, no, she's rubbing. She's getting her patchy all over my phone. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's a pretty cool product. I like it a lot. Um, Rapashi, send me free stuff? Yes, no, I kid. I, I typically pick it up at... Curious Creatures in Chicago, which is a very nice locally owned reptile specific pet store. Um, I'm lucky enough in Chicago that there's a few really good reptile stores in the area. Uh, Chicago Reptile House, and there's a new one that opened up in Mount Prospect, which is a suburb called Chief Reptile. 
and that place is super, super good. They have some really beautiful cages. Um, but yeah, I like to buy my Rapashi from local independent pet stores. I'm just kind of rambling, I know, but I, I just, it's so much fun watching her eat the little skyscrapers. I have some other molds too, but I'm actually at my parents' house and I didn't bring them home with me. I've got cars, um, I've got little cars, and I have another building mold. So one of these days, I will properly uh, get a nice city set up where there's different types of buildings and some cars going around and, um, you know, I can play the, the like the Tokyo Sirens from the 1950s Godzillas and maybe even a few Godzilla roars. I don't know, maybe, maybe. it'll be fun. It'll be fun for me and Kaiju will just be like, for God's sakes, why can't I eat my dinner in peace? I've made a lot more uh, than she's actually going to eat in one sitting. That's another nice thing about the gel foods. Uh, you can leave them in the fridge for a couple of days. So I'll sort of mush this up and reshape it into squares just so it's easier for storage. And uh, yeah, she'll be eating on this for, for a couple days. The mighty, the mighty monster. It's important, I think, to have fun uh, with the animals you keep in ways that are safe for both you and for them. Um, because otherwise, what's the point? Like, you need to, you need to have fun. You need to, I don't know, I feel like you need to love, love hanging out with them, love their behaviors, love what they do. They're very good animals, even if they do like to wipe their food all over your phone. I'm gonna stop bothering her now. I say, I'm not actually gonna stop bothering her. I'll give her a good little scratch. A little scratch right on the back. She's like, mm, no, dinner, dinner. But I am gonna stop filming now because it's already at seven and a half minutes. And I've pretty much said all I have to say and she's not facing me anymore, so uh, yeah, feed your, feed your tegu a city. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it, I promise.